Now we're going to talk about creating basic calculations in an Excel spreadsheet. You'll get an idea of how the cell references or cell names come into play when you're telling your spreadsheet program to perform a mathematical calculation. Now here in this topic of basic Excel calculations, we're going to cover how to add, how to subtract, how to multiply, and how to divide by using a manual formula entry and we're also going to cover the auto sum icon which uh, can perform addition and a few other uh, tricks that it can allow for. So now talking about uh, your Excel cells and your cell names just to review if you click a cell on your spreadsheet it derives its name from the corresponding column letter and row number and here if I click on E4 that's the actual cell that's located in column E, row 4. And the cell name appears over in the upper left in the name box. Now I'm going to go ahead and start over here, you know, somewhat towards the middle of the screen. I'm just going to type in some numbers here. And I'm going to hit enter in between each one. Okay, I've got three numbers. And uh, we can pretty much tell by looking what those three numbers add up to. Now, if you want Excel to calculate something, the first thing that you must enter into a cell is the equal sign. The equal sign tells Excel to hold on a moment because you're going to plug in a, an argument that's going to tell it to perform a calculation. Otherwise, if you were to type in some numbers or some a text string, Excel would type that into the cell as you type it, as you enter it. So we must start out any type of an equation with the equal sign. Now, there's a word for every type of calculation or every type of function. If, if you want to add these numbers above, we have to type in the word sum. And you have this little automatic pop-up that appears so that as you start to type a few letters after the equal symbol, it will give you options of all the different functions available. Now, we're going to use sum. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just type in the open parenthesis. And it gives me a little pop-up tip here showing me that in order to perform a sum calculation or to add numbers, you enter the numbers, the cell names, separated by commas. So I'm going to say, well, I want to add this number, value 5, which exists in column E, row 4. So I'm going to type in E4 and see how it surrounds that with a box. So you know you're selecting the right cell containing your value. Now, I can put a comma in there and then I can type in E5 and see how it surrounds the cell E5 with a box as well in a different color. And now I can also put a comma and say E6. And I can put in my close parenthesis and hit enter. And there, it calculates the sum of those three numbers. 5 plus 10 plus 20 is 35. And to check or recheck your formula, click on the cell that contains a result, look up in the formula bar, and you'll see that there's an actual equation there. It's displaying in cell E7 the result of the equation where it's taking the contents of column E, rows 4, 5, and 6, adding them up and entering them into E7. All right, there are a few other ways of doing this. Um, so I'm going to highlight the cell that contains the result and hit delete. All right, by now we know that if we want to put in an equation, we must start out with the equal symbol. And I'm going to type in the word sum, put in my open parenthesis, and I can also say I want to add column E, row 4, and you don't need to capitalize the cell letter. It's not necessary. And you can put in a colon and then say E6. And that's going to include all of the data in column E, rows 4 through 6. Put in your closing parenthesis and hit enter. And there's your result again. The formula is a little bit different than it was before. You can use the colon to include a range of cells. And that gives me the same result. 
I'm going to delete that. And we have another way of doing this, even easier. Type in the equals, followed by the word sum, open parenthesis. Once you're in this mode, Excel is waiting for you to type in the cell names or the references of the cells you want to add. I can roll the mouse up, click on the first cell containing the first value I want to add, keep my mouse button pressed, roll down, and then release. And you see Excel will put a little marquee or a border around the range of cells that I'm going to add. Notice how it automatically brought in the cell names, separated them with a colon, and if I hit enter, I don't need to add the closing parenthesis, it will perform the calculation for me. A third way to put that formula in with the same result. I'm going to delete that. Okay, you also have an easy, even easier way to do this. You have what is called auto sum. Auto sum is this icon on the home tab over in the editing group of icons with the Greek sigma symbol. It looks like a letter E. In order to use auto sum, make sure you click in the cell where you want your result to go. Move your mouse over, click on that icon. It's going to automatically throw a border around what it assumes you want to calculate. If it's correct, hit enter. And there's your result, and that's using AutoSum. All right, so we went over several different ways of doing this. Hit Delete. Uh, let me review. If you want to add up the numbers or perform a calculation, start with the equal symbol. Type in the name of the function you want to use. Put in your open parenthesis. Type in the names of the cells you want to add. In this case, it's E4. Okay, I can put a comma followed by E5, comma, E6. Okay, enter gives me my result. Note that you do not have to enter the closing parenthesis. It's not necessary. Okay, simpler way, equals, sum, open parenthesis. I can type in E4, colon, E6, enter. And that will do the same thing. The colon represents everything between those cells, including those cells. Delete. All right. Also, enter, sum, open parenthesis. Use the actual mouse to click and drag across the cells that you'd like to add. You can go vertically. You can go horizontally. Either way, enter. There's your result. Or the fourth way, using auto sum, click the cell where you want the result to go. Click on your auto sum icon. Enter. And there you go. There's your result.